this is your first time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm, I'm Korean. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm 35 years old mm -hmm. and I work at a school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to learn English to talk fluently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. That's all. So, what is your work in school? Um, what was that? It <laughs> audit. Oh, that's great. Yes. Okay. So, please feel free to speak, even if you don't know the word. Just feel free. All right. Yeah. Just express whatever you think and just say whatever. You you want to say okay so just don't be shy or don't be so intimidated when whenever you're speaking in English okay so first is the lesson that we have today is lesson 31 it's about what do you want to say all right please can you be able to read the first paragraph no many people think technology bring happiness to our Lives and the uh, time saving machine give us more time. How would you tell folks that, on the contrary, it is new technology itself that is a main source of modern stress? Okay, so what did you understand in the first paragraph? Mm, nowadays, how many technologies give us? Uh, many good things, many but good things. All right, like uh, it is also mm -hmm. give us bad things. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. So yeah, we got already the right point. So can you be able to read the second paragraph? Com Computers. Mm -hmm. Mobile phone. Don't tie people closely to their job all the time, regardless of where they work. Mm -hmm. So their work load increases, efficiency improves. People are busier, even though they do more work, but they still lack free time. So the employee is getting a great deal since he can squeeze more work up, work out of the set without paying more money. Mm -hmm. But the employee can no longer take a break to recharge his batteries. There is no safe place to hide in like oh, the infernal machine will find him. Wherever he goes. All right. So, what is the idea in the second paragraph? Mm, yeah, I also agree. Uh, now my life mm. is convenient and easy, but uh, I don't have free time enough mm -hmm. to relax myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Okay. So my question to you is that. What is your point of view in having this mobile phones and computers or the technologies around you? What are the disadvantages that it brings to you? Advantage. Uh, I can I can get much information mm -hmm. easily. Okay. Yeah, it is so equivalent to all the people but if I don't effort, I can't get uh, much information. I have to uh, use my time to get more information. All right. Mm. Okay. So the advantages that you have said a while back, one of it is it will save time, right? Yeah. Okay. How does it save time? <laughs> Sorry? How does the... How does... Does the computer save time or the technology save time? Save time. Mm -hmm. How does it save your time? Mm. For example, uh, if I want 
later later base something. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need to call or find a directly. Mm -hmm. it, I can just search on internet. Uh, it is so fast. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, so I yeah, I can save my time like that. All right. Okay. So, what do you think? Apart from if you are not in the office or outside personally or in your house, how does machines or technologies help you? Mm. In your house. My house. Now also my computer was on. Mm -hmm. uh, I can work so easily can you join computer. Okay. Alright, so that is just the main point here in the having computers, okay, or technologies. It has disadvantages and it has also some advantages. Please, can you be able to read the vocabularies on the lower part, such as workload? Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'll just maximize. Okay, workload. Please, can you read the definition? Uh, amount of work person or motion is expected to do. Mm -hmm. Next. Screen. Mm -hmm. Barely succeed at getting or doing something. Okay. Break. What is the meaning of break? Brief period of time during which somebody stops on activity. Okay. Next, recharge your batteries. Rest or relax in order to get back your energy. Okay. Infernal. Very bad and unpleasant. Okay. Save for rainy day. Save something specially money mm -hmm. for a time when you will need it. Okay. Sunscreen. Uh, is it lotion you put on your skin to prevent submit? Okay. Give up on. Stop trying to do or retrieve something. Or achieve. Retrieve. Okay. Take into consideration. Remember to think about something important when you are making your judgment. Okay. Delay off. Um, stop employing somebody especially for a period in which there is not much work to do. Mm -hmm. On a leash. Under control. Okay, this read. Make somebody decide not to do something. Okay. Finances. Money a person, company, organization, etc has available world the way to manage his money. Okay, walk of life. Position in society somebody has especially the type of job they have. Alright, did you understand uh, the the paragraph that we have here? Yes, All right. I understand. Did you understand? Do you have any question? Um, I don't have any question. Alright, okay, so that's all. We now proceed with the next page. Mm. All right. So let's go in a situation. Uh, the first part here because of a traffic mm -hmm. jam, you are late mm -hmm. to work. Apologize to your boss. How are you going to apologize to your boss? 
We are in situation number one. Mm -hmm. Because of a traffic jam, you are late to work. You apologize to your boss. How are you going to apologize to your boss? Do I have to uh, press the Apologize. Apologize. Yeah, I know. Uh. Yeah? Yes, I know. Alright. Okay, so mm. how are you going to apologize to your boss? Oh, <laughs> guess, um, so sorry, there was a bad traffic jam when I'm going to office, mm -hmm. so I was right, uh, tomorrow morning, I will leave home faster, uh, earlier. You will? I will leave home mm. earlier. Next time. See you next time. Alright, okay, so that's how you're going to apologize. You will say, good morning, sir. Sir, please forgive me for being late today because of a traffic jam I encountered. But I promise that I will leave home early next time. I'll mm. do it again. Mm. Okay, you have uh, that good idea. Number two. Tell your boss you want the day off because you have a bad cold. You're sick. Mm. What do you say? Because mm -hmm. I want to be off to drive because I have a bad cold. So I want to take a rest today. Okay, so you're going to say that, Sir, please can I have a day off tomorrow because I'm not uh, feeling sorry, well. Say, uh, sorry, uh, can you speak slowly? Uh, Alright, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay, so I'm just right here. Thank Sir, you. Sir, please yep. can I have a day off? because I have a bad cold and I need some rest some rest I will report as soon as I feel well already all right so this is how you're going to report to your boss asking for a day off mm. okay yep okay next situation number three tell a friend why he should save money for a rainy day how are you going to say it Tell a friend why he should save money for a rainy day. What are you going to say? I can understand. I have to okay. save money. <laughs> why? Um, explain. Explain to your friend why why you should save money mm. during for your rainy day I can't understand this. What? I'm sorry? I can't understand this picture. Uh, 
Okay, this one, number three. Yeah, why he should save money for rainy day? Because if he save money, he can buy a car. It, okay, is so it right? it's like you're saying that this my friend save money uh -huh. so he can buy a car. Is that what you're uh -huh. doing to tell him? Uh -huh. Yeah. I couldn't understand. Uh. Mm, what word you don't understand? <laughs> it's so it says here, tell a friend. Tell a friend why he should save money. Uh, Explain. Um. Uh, okay. Like, explain. Did you get the word? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Explain why he should save money. Oh. Um. If you save money, you can buy a car. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to be wet. Uh, um, Alright. Okay. When it's raining. Yeah. Okay, so you have a good point actually. So you were telling to your friend, so example, mm -hmm. this is your friend. So tell mm -hmm. her that you should save money during rainy, uh, for a rainy day mm -hmm. so that you will not run out of your money because during rainy days you need a lot of money for emergency. Okay? So save a lot of money for an emergency. That's uh, it. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, I'm. You got it already? Uh, yeah, I misunderstood. All right. Uh, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, number uh, four. You, your friend, failed the college entrance exam. Cheer him up. Advise him to try another school. Um, How are you going to encourage your your friend who failed in an entrance exam? Will you say, oh, you failed. That's it. Will you say that? Mm -hmm. No. So how are you going to advise him? You did your best. So if you go another school, you are so... Oh, uh, can do well, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, the name of school, name or level of school is not important. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Okay, that's a great answer. Okay, you can tell him that um, you can take another entrance mm -hmm. exam in other schools because who knows you may pass you may pass for this time don't be bothered about the name of the school. About the name. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. About the name of the school since that is not important. What matters? What matters is that you will achieve. <laughs> Or dreams. We got your dreams. All right. Do you think that is a good response so that your friend will be encouraged? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, if I, if my friend have a exam, mm -hmm. uh, how can cheer up? Cheer up. Cheer. Him up. Him. <laughs> encourage. Oh. Um, oh. Encourage. I only know cheer up. 
Yeah, it's so the I, same as cheer up. Cheer I, up. No, I mean, I always message him, cheer, yeah. cheer up, only one sentence. Ah, okay. So yeah. I wonder another expression. Okay. Cheer up means to say, it's like you're saying, be encouraged, be strong, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's the meaning of cheer up. Cheer up. Oh. Means to say, be encouraged. Be oh, encouraged. Can you and be strong. Be strong. Yeah. Something. That's what. That is what you mean to say by cheer up. Oh. Okay. So cheer up means to say be encouraged. Oh. Okay. Yep. Do you have any other question? Romeo. Okay. Uh, so, you tell your friend, uh, uh, they have a uh, exam tomorrow. You tell them cheer up, mm. or another expression. Well, you can tell them, you will pass. You will make it. Um, you will make it. You will make it. Mm. That's how you okay. cheer them up. That's how um, you will encourage them. Okay. So, were you able to understand it already? Uh, yes, thank Alright, okay. So, next, we have another situation. Last, number five. Counsel your friend to stop smoking. Tell him both why and how. Why tell your friend to stop smoking? How are you going to tell? You need to explain to him why he has to stop smoking and how to stop smoking. How are you going to do it? Um, oh, ma'am, it's already time. I think it's already time. Excuse me. Sorry? Mom, it's already time. Yes, it's already time. Uh, time's up. Oh, time no. is up. Oh, I leisure to five, 15 minutes. 30 minutes? 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every day 15 minutes. Oh, I see. But it's only... So we're going to continue it, ma'am. Yes, hello. Uh, do, I, hmm? do I have to change another teacher or time? Uh, no, ma'am. Because I think what you have reserved is only 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Yes, ma'am. No, no, yesterday night I paid the fixed time oh. nine thirty and every weekday fifteen minutes fifty. Fifty five. Maybe it's yeah. tomorrow again. Yeah. What I know ma'am is that today you will have twenty five, tomorrow is another huh? twenty five. So uh, after twenty five you will continue tomorrow. No I mean after you no. And then change. No, ma'am. You will not change. You will just continue tomorrow. Oh. Yes, ma'am. It's not a straight session, ma'am. So you oh. you don't know the schedule, ma'am? Yeah. Because <laughs> yesterday I pay like that. Okay, I will check. Okay, so it's like today, uh -huh. 25 minutes, uh -huh. and then next day, yep. 25 minutes. to understand it ma'am? Yes. Will that be okay? Yep. Alright. Okay, so good night ma'am. 
Were you able to understand everything? Our lesson today? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, or, or almost. Okay, so see you again next meeting, next day. Mm -hmm. So good night, ma'am. Thank you so much. See you. Good night.